Alexa? Okay. Robert, every actor has movies where they cut scenes out of. Now, you did a movie called Baby It's You. Mm -hmm. You spent I mean, four weeks shooting it, took your friends to the movie theater. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'd done all this work, and they wound up cutting me out of the film. And all my friends harped in, maybe it's you, maybe it's you. Humility, got it, right here. Sign seal delivered. Up yours. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, in 1985-86, uh, important year in your life, mm. you joined the cast of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Something that a lot of people don't really remember, but uh, how was that year and how was that experience for you? It was the first year that Lauren Michaels came back. I went in and auditioned. Anthony Michael Hall was already on the show. I really learned a lot. Really learned a lot. It was also just crazy. I mean, I guess I was like 19 or 20. I don't, I don't know. I forget. And he was younger. <laughs> he still is. And um, God, what a year! What a year it was. One of my Peter O'Toole. It was it was tough, and I learned a lot. And I don't complain on film sets nearly as much as I should, because of that experience. Now you seem like a, a pretty happy-go-lucky guy, and sometimes people will take that as being cocky. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were starting out, you had an audition with Robert Conrad mm -hmm. that didn't go quite as the way you planned. What what, what happened there? I'll take out the gum for this one. If I remember correctly, someone said, how do you support yourself when you're not working as an actor? And I said, my spine. <laughs> they were like, don't mouth off quite as much now, except now that I'm, you know, I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, uh, two films that, uh, of yours that, I, that I, I think are important mm -hmm. are uh, Chances Are, mm -hmm. and I love that movie, but it didn't seem to get, a, would. <laughs> didn't seem to get a, a lot of... Uh, Great response, you know, at the box office. But it, I really enjoyed it. Now, what well, like all the other blockbusters I've been in. What are you talking about? I'm like the I'm like the the nosedive king for films. <laughs> okay. Robert, we'd like to have it in a film, but you jinxed the whole damn effort. Well, what was your uh, impression of that film and the experience? Chances are, yeah. Sybil Shepherd and um, and Emil Ardolino, the director. It was fun. I like the theme, you know, because I, I tend to, now and again to believe in reincarnation. Or rather, more importantly, I tend to believe in people being together for a reason. And that, um, that the soul survives physical death. So, you know, so that for me was great. Also, it was like kind of a 30s comedy. And what's funny is I feel sometimes like I'm a little personally like caught out of time. Like, like I, I dropped in in the wrong era or something. But I see him in Soap Dish again, talking back to what we're plugging today. Is, is again kind of almost like a 30s, more of a 30s style movie, you know? Speaking of Soap Dish, are you getting a lot of feedback from uh, producers at all? No, not yet, but I, there might be a couple letter bombs, nothing I can't handle. Um, another movie, when you're talking about it being jinxed, now when you did Air America, mm. now didn't you take the script that beforehand and take it to a psychic to read? I did! I mean, she looked at the title, it says Air America, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it might as well have said on the thing, action movie, charge double. But instead, you know, and she said, there's going to be a lot of trouble with the money on this one. And there's going to be a lot of hardware and all that, uh, you know. But she was right. There was a lot of trouble. But it was fun at points, and I learned a lot. And I also learned um, that sometimes you can think all the problems are out there, and you use that as an excuse to just not do your work, you know. In the gossip columns the last couple of days, they've mentioned uh, the Charlie Chaplin movie. Richard Attenborough, yes. sets being Richard. built, already being built. Yeah. Are you a little bit scared going into that? Oh, yeah. I'd be foolish not to be. But, as Mr. Mike Tyson says, fear is like fire. You can either, it can either cook for you or it can burn you. And so I intend to become a gourmet magnifico with this one because, you know, why, uh, why blow this one? It's all about, I mean, this is, you know, this is a chance of a lifetime, you know. Great, great. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you.